what we're going to do right now is we're going to learn how to prove that two functions are inverses of each other. <clears throat> when you're trying to prove that two functions are inverses of each other, there are two different ways to do it. The first way we can learn how to do it is to find f of g of x and g of f of x. Now, to prove that they're inverses, both of these have to be equal to x when we find the composite function and simplify them. So let's go ahead and work on the first one. On the first one, we're going to try to find f of g of x. Again, just a little review what that means. We're going to find f of g of x. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our g function, which is represented right here, and we're going to plug it into our f function. So our f function tells us to multiply it by 3 and then to add 2 to it. So when we plug the uh, x minus 2 divided by 3 in, we will do those two things to that. When you multiply uh, 3 by g of x, 3's will cancel. And it's going to leave us x minus 2 plus 2, which will equal to x. So that's part of what we're trying to prove, but we also have to prove the other one. So now we're going to find f, our g of f of x. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to take our f function, and we're going to plug it into our g function. So our g function tells us to subtract 2 and divide by 3. And when we plug in our f function of 3x minus 2, we are going to, or plus 2, we're going to subtract 2, and then we're going to try to divide it by 3. So when you subtract 2 from it, you'll end up with 3x divided by 3, which is equal to x. And as you can see, both f of g of x was equal to x, and uh, g of f of x was equal to x. So because both of those are equal to x, uh, you know that those two functions are inverses of each other. And another thing, and this won't always be as easy, but if you look, the definition of an inverse function, uh, what, where you have heard inverses before is with inverse operations, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And if you look here, x is being multiplied by 3 and added by 2. Over here, it's being subtracted by 2 and divided by 3. So it only makes sense when you perform all those operations together that they end up canceling, canceling each other out.